Hi, uh, this is Farooq Zaman from Pakistan, and uh, today we have Farooq Iqbal Khan, the lead negotiator of the Pakistani delegation, with us. Um, thank you, Mr. Iqbal, for joining us. Um, I begin by asking you, how important do you think urgency is in these climate negotiations at Durban? Well, the urgency is enormous. Uh, we have just, uh, there are two reports that have recently been released, one by the International energy agency which has uh, effectively said that if we don't do anything in the next five years time span then the climatic effects would become irreversible. The other is by the International Panel on Climate Change uh, identifying that uh, the risk of intense and high, high intensity event is increasing and the potential for them to be recurring more rapidly is there. So. Obviously, this calls for a more uh, adaptation efforts on the part of majority of the developing countries, which are, uh, which have effectively contributed later, but are going to be the uh, main uh, effectees of uh, this problem. So, yes, there is a huge edge urgency. There is no doubt about it. And uh, what is Pakistan's defining position in the negotiations this year? What are the key agenda for Pakistan? Well, Pakistan plays its role on all agenda items, but uh, when it comes to issues that are directly relevant to Pakistan, are of course one is in adaptation, which is the, and more specifically the area of water and agriculture. The other is the finance. Pakistan has played a. Um, we have always been engaged very constructively in finance. Uh, Pakistan has been part of the Adaptation Fund Board. We were also part of the Transitional Committee to design the Green Climate Fund. And now we are here uh, bringing that report here and to ensure that the Green Climate Fund becomes up and operational in order for it to start delivering at a time uh, sooner than, of course, later. And uh, some parties have actually expressed their reservations about the draft uh, text that was introduced in the plenary uh, yesterday. So how do you think that would affect Pakistan and other developing countries and other vulnerable countries who are actually already suffering from climate change impacts? Well, parties have reservation. There, are, there is no doubt about it. Um, uh, some of them are legitimate, some of them are tactical. Uh, it is my assessment and uh, I very much hope that the parties would also would probably overcome these bottlenecks that exist thus far. The, chair, the president of the COP the South African Minister for International Affairs has herself taken responsibility to uh, address this, these issues and uh, to make sure that the fund becomes operational, or at least the board is put up by the end of Durban so that uh, the uh, Green Fund gets into its operational mode. So I'm hopeful, I'm very hopeful that we uh, will not find ourselves in a bad situation insofar as the Green Climate Fund is concerned. The document is good. We worked hard on that document and uh, it reflects a very tenuous balance of positions and interests uh, thus far. Okay, great. So one final question, uh, what are your expectations from uh, out of Durban this year? Well, that's a million dollar question, but uh, I think roughly the 20,000 people are asking this question to, uh, to themselves and to many other people. But notwithstanding, I think the what is needed at this stage is to come together first there are two or three steps first the first step is that we should give effect to what we agreed in cancun uh, at cancun we agreed to create new institutions such as on adaptation on technology on finance then we agreed that we will need to work on uh, defining uh, some of the mitigation action issues, uh, both on the part of developed and the developing countries. We also agreed that the level of mitigation was insufficient, so there is a need to for all countries, particularly the developed countries, to come forward and now enhance their pledges. The other is um, when we create these new institutions, and particularly the Green Climate Fund, the most important point then becomes whether you're putting in the money or not. Somebody has to come forward and start making pledges. The countries have to uh, pledge now, define and give the right political signal for a uh, Green Climate Fund to become up and operational. Uh, rest, I'm sure that we will define a framework of action uh, for uh, 
the future that still is a bit uncertain at this stage. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Iqbal, for giving us your time.